Oh my gosh, Joseph, why are you so destructive? Jeez. <laughs> Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Toucan Plays and welcome to another Toucan's Toy Review. So Joseph and I went on a toy hunt to Target. We found a bunch of the Series 28 double packs, but nothing else. I mean, like, look at this. This Hot Wheels section was completely empty. There was a nice young man that was there at Target that was looking for Hot Wheels and there just was nothing there. So then we went over to Walmart and there was nothing really there either. No Nitro Neon Series 3. I'm gonna have to order them from uh, the Superstore, I think. I don't know what I'm gonna do. No Series 34s, of course. Just a couple 32s, not even 33s. I mean, they had nothing at Walmart. Joseph did manage to find some lightsabers, though, that he uh, enjoyed hanging out with and playing around with. Come on, Joseph, find the right one. <laughs> He threatened me with it. I said, Joseph, I am your father. And he says, no. <laughs> so as we were walking out of the store, though, super disappointed, I did spy this little display with the uh, minis. It's like a double pack mini and a full 164th scale. And they're only going for about uh, three or four dollars. Three eighty eight is what it says right there. There is four of them. There is El Toro Loco, Gravedigger, Megalodon and Monster Mud Dalmatian. Of course, I had to pick up all four because that's just a really good deal to get a mini plus a 164th scale for four bucks. Heck yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty good deal. There is all four of them together. And then this one, of course, is the Gravedigger set with the card back. And you can see all of the pairings right there. Very, very nice. So I think, so this was part of like an Easter display. So I think what they're thinking is that this would make a good Easter basket inclusion. I have to agree, this would be really good for an Easter basket because you got the mini plus the 64th kind of gets kids into collecting both the minis and in the 64th scale. <laughs> Joseph was my cameraman. We got it open and the mini went flying. <laughs> uh, and of course we started off with a grave digger. All right, nothing too special about this grave digger. It is a regular grave digger. Got the uh, green rims, black tires, no BKT printing, silver roll cage, black chassis. It looks pretty good overall. Uh, no bad to the bone, just says Grave Digger on the top. Well, there is bad to the bone, but it's not the bad to bone printing. It just says Grave Digger and then a little uh, bad to the bone. Got Grim on there. Uh, just a, a standard chassis. If you already have a bunch of Grave Diggers, eh, it's probably not worth picking up. But, uh, you know, you can never have too many Grave Diggers, right? <laughs> All right, and here is the mini. And again, it's just a cha standard mini Grave Digger. I think we've seen some just like this. We got the silver chassis, green, solid green tires, and a regular old Grave Digger body. I really like the minis. I miss collecting them. I haven't bought them in a long time. Uh, I think just because they're so expensive, it didn't seem like a good value. I mean, they're $4 a piece just for the minis. And it just, like I said, it didn't seem like it was good value for what you get, but they are fun. And here they are next to each other. Grave Digger plus the Grave Digger mini. Pachoo! <laughs> All right, next up, let's do El Toro Loco. Oh, come on, get it open. There we go. <laughs> the mini didn't go flying quite so far this time. Got the mini, got El Toro Loco. Whoosh. And there is El Toro Loco. Got a, a yellow chassis, silver roll cage, yellow rims on the tires, black tires, no BKT printing, standard classic orange El Toro Loco design. No gold tooth or anything like that, but uh, very clean, very nice. I think I kind of would have liked it if it was a black chassis instead of a yellow chassis, but hey, the yellow works. El Toro Loco, monsterjam.com on the back and got that crazy bull grin on the side there. Very nice. If you don't have any El Toro Locos, definitely worth picking up. Overall, it is an, a, an awesome addition to your collection. Here is the mini brown tires, silver chassis slash roll cage. And I really like the tension to detail detail that I put on these minis. I wish maybe that the uh, the bowl, the, the nose ring on the bowl was colored or was painted, but that's eh, okay. No details on the back. El Toro Loco on the side, a little bit of flames on the side there. And for how small it is, the flames are actually quite detailed. But yeah, I mean, overall, very cool. Again, I really like these minis. And here they are side by side, facing off to eat with each other. Go get them, El Toro Loco. <laughs> All right, next up, we have got Megalodon, and there's the Megalodon Mini, and the Megalodon 164 scale. 
All right, Megalodon now. I've got a million Megalodons. This one, I think, turned out really, really well, though. I like this, the chassis combination here. We've got the black roll cage, blue chassis, kind of a baby blue. Matches well with the Megalodon lettering on the side. Gray, uh, gray rims, rather, black tires. No BKT printing, just the, uh, the raised BKT lettering on it. And, of course, standard Megalodon floppy <laughs> fins on the side. And... Uh, Otherwise, it's just a, a pretty standard Megalodon 164th scale. And here is the Megalodon Mini. We got that baby blue chassis slash roll cage with the um, bright light blue, kind of a sky blue, I guess, for the tires. I like the combo. Really nice combo. They, they went very conservative with these minis. I think just to make it as broadly appealing as possible. But again, I really like the attention to detail that they do on these minis. It's actually pretty incredible. Got the uh, red for the gums on the on the shark mouth. And uh, yeah, the Megalodon printing on the side. Very cool. Here they are next to each other, side by side. There's a baby shark. Do, 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 baby shark. <laughs> All right, never mind. I'll stop singing. Sorry. <laughs> All right, cool. And last but not least, we have Monster Mutt Dalmatian. There's the mini and the 164th. Woo. All right, so we've got a white roll cage this time, black chassis, red rims on those tires, no BKT printing, just like the other three, uh, but just those raised BKT letterings on the tires. Overall, very solid color combination. Uh, I, one I think we've seen before, but uh, still looks really, really nice. Uh, Monster Mode Dalmatian is fun. We've got the tail, of course, and then, of course, the dog tag on the collar. And, you know, Monster Jam OCD, he points out that the, uh, the Dalmatian has got those raised ears instead of the downward ears. But I don't really notice a big difference. <laughs> yeah, it's something that he notices. Uh, not a big deal for me. And then here is the mini. Kind of same deal. we got uh, all red roll cage chassis and all red tires that match perfectly well with the red of the collar and red of Dalmatian. Monster Mutt, rather, it says on the side. And even the mini has got a little mini dog tag. Let's see if I can get it into focus. There we go. You can see the little mini dog tag hanging off the uh, the dog collar. I love the mini Monster Mutts. They look so good. And all, of course, all of the uh, Dalmatian spots look great. And the the, the grin, the, do the Monster Mutt grin of the, the teeth. Very cool, very cool. And here they are side by side as Joseph plays with the other trucks in the background. Very nice. Overall, yes, I am very satisfied with this purchase. And like I said, I think these are meant for Easter. They were a part of an Easter display. I think any kid would enjoy having these in their uh, Easter basket from the Easter Bunny. Uh, but here they are all lined up in a row. If I can get the camera to focus. Come on, camera. Help work with me here. But uh, yeah, here they all are. Grave Digger. El Toro Loco, Megalodon, and Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And there's my little toucan mascot there, too. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the video that's on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side later. Oh my gosh, Joseph, why are you so destructive? Oh no. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs>